Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about double electric arch imaging. Terminology Conductor electric arch primarily related to consistent of bone, left and right for the electric arch. Most common sign and symptom 0 to 3 years old presenting with stridor, wheezing, and choking that wasn't with feeding. Apnea or life threatening respiratory arrest require resuscitation, as initial presentation in 5 to 10 percent. Otherwise, other signs and symptoms, public attack, noisy breathing, seal bark, Feeling difficulty. Chair radiograph is often suggestive of diagnosis. Bilateral tracheal identification and mid tracheal narrowing. Right arch identification is commonly higher. and more substantial than left, right dominant. Also, quite gram is suggestive with characteristic bilateral and posterior identification. Cross-sectional imaging, CTA, MOA, for definitive diagnosis and characterization. Left and right eyes arrive from ascending aorta in cycle trachea and esophagus and joined to form descending aorta. Each eye gave rise to one ventral carotid and one dorsal subclavian artery for artery signs on abscess line. Right eye is common larger, more superior, and more posterior extending than left. 70% of case. Left descendant aorta is this case, in this case. AP radiograph of a two months with defast trigger, so impression on the trachea from birth, from both the right and the left, with the right impression being uh, higher than the left. Radiograph can be highly suggestive of a double aortic arch, though the airway morphology is often overlooked. Coronal MIP imaging from the chest CTA and pen. With a double myotic arch, so vascular compression of the trachea between the right and right aortic arch. Note that the right arch is dominant with its typical. Axial CTA MIP, so right and left aortic arch. Circumferentially around the compressed trachea, consistent with a double aortic arch. Note a large ductal diverticulum. gloom. Post oblique CD image from a chest CTA to a double aortic arch with left and right arch that converge to form a descending. Aorta. This real uh, focal compression of the trachea, not the large duct or the reticulum, and the symmetric branching of the great vessel. AP radiograph of 10 years old with chronic stridor upon a certain cell. Level trachea deviation, 
This patient had a double aortic arch with dominant right arch. Treatment. Lectoracostomy with division of small arch, athletic segment, and lycomentum. A tradition with mobilization of trachea and ulcers, post-operative complication, chylothorax, vocal cord paralysis, transient hypertension, rare complication of pre and of post-operative uh, arteroesophageal fistula with severe hemorrhage. Most common persistent symptom post-operative. Side in 30%, persistent airway symptom are more most common due to tracheostenosis, tracheo, bronchomalacia, persistent extensive airway compression. Up to 11% of patients require second operation to relieve airway symptom. Autopexia or other vascular suspension, procedure cartilaginous. Tracheal ring resection followed by airway reconstruction. Thank you.